Good morning and hello, explorers, and welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're all having a great day today. I know I am for sure. So I just woke up and just made it all the way over here around the corner to Lake Moo Ball. I'm currently parked at the visitor center. I'm about to walk across the actual bridge. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's a pretty huge dam, actually. It's the Lake Moo Ball Dam. I think it's actually called the Gathright Dam, but <laughs> anyway, uh, it's 11 o'clock. I just gotta empty my trash and then put five copies of my arsenal on the backside of a sign or somewhere. But one thing I want to mention real quick is I'm having a super great day uh, today compared to yesterday because if you watched yesterday's video, I mentioned some activism stuff. And I'm finally at the point, I know I said this a billion freaking times, too many times to count, but yesterday was the last straw. I'm not talking about my activism stuff anymore. I realize I have a problem when it comes to the negative commercials and ads, aka the death jab commercials and ads, and all these stupid freaking people that are just completely unchangeable. So I'm done. I'm done talking about it. I'm done warning them. If they want to continue to freaking screw them themselves up and, and freak up their freaking body. Who cares? <laughs> there ain't nothing I can freaking do. It clearly says in the Bible that some people in this world uh, just can't see Christ. They're unchangeable. <laughs> so anyway, uh, just gonna hop out. Here's the view. Look at this. <laughs> it's extremely windy out here, so I won't really be able to talk to you when I'm walking across the dam. But look at that. Pretty cool little area here. And here's the view of my front windows. There's a bunch of picnic tables and your standard stuff. So I'm pretty sure I was free to park here. I just pulled in. I couldn't drive any further because I guess that was like a little headquarters thing or something. There was a sign saying it was closed. But this place is open. It's super nice. And uh, yeah, uh, for me to be able to reach it, thousand subscribers by this may which is very soon i'm gonna have to be gaining 13 subscribers a day every day this month of april and i'm not doing that <laughs> so yeah i'm pretty much stuck at 608 subscribers <laughs> so if you like what i do please come along for the ride by hitting that subscribe button because well <laughs> my van life adventure has been a lot of fun so far so like always just gonna hop out real quick check this place out this is super fun out here <laughs> Wondering what you got for me Egyptian currents out to be Are they the only Bop, be bop I ask you for the time You got the damn right What, what Everything you do Gives me butterflies I ask you for the time I just moved my multi strip from the wall of my van to my nightstand so I can fit my ultimate bumper sticker photo collage poster. It's about two feet wide by one foot tall from Vistaprint, which is their smallest size that I'm probably gonna order uh, in December. Uh, I just don't feel like ordering it anytime soon because for one, I ain't got the money. I'm barely gonna have enough money next month, uh, like I've been saying in multiple videos to fix some stuff on this van. I'm probably only gonna have like a $200 budget and then in June, I'm going to be buying a lot of stuff for the 4th of July. <laughs> so yeah, here's what it looks like. As you can see, here's my keys. <laughs> I simply just moved it over. And guess what? This space here is exactly two feet wide. <laughs> How funny is that? It's barely going to fit. I mean, sure, my Mr. Buddy here will cover up most of it. But I think it'll look pretty good right there. I mentioned it in the first video of this trip, but I think I also put a picture up here on the screen. As you can see, this is pretty much what it's going to look like. And I guess I'll also show you right here. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of not really lined up. 
I did the best I can do in the edit. As you can see, I guess it looks pretty good. <laughs> and yeah, obviously the other one will go in the back of my van. And I'm going to have to remove all those bumper stickers uh, back there to put it on there because, uh, well, it's not a, you know, it's a different size and stuff. <laughs> it's not going to like cover up all of them. But yeah, uh, it's a super nice day today. It's about 12.15. If you enjoyed all that footage of me walking across the dam, please give this video a big thumbs up to let me know. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was pretty freaking awesome. And also, just like I mentioned in the first video, I, uh, this December, I'm going to be ordering my uh, Van Life Adventure 2022 uh, photo collage poster. It was the same size as the one I just mentioned. And we're going to put it right here. It's going to start about here and go all the way to this little line there, right there where that screw is, <laughs> that I have my, uh, you know, walls bolted to, the little frame back there with those little lag bolts. <laughs> but yeah, I think also uh, when I put that poster up, I gotta remove these things because, you know, eventually I'm gonna run out and it's just a better idea to order the stickers. And then I'm also gonna remove uh, my remote for my little LED battery power light thing over here on this side and take down this uh, Rumble channel uh, subscribe button little QR code thing right there. <laughs> so yeah, this December, my van will actually look really good. <laughs> uh, it already looks pretty good now, but it'll definitely look a lot better and completely finished off and uh, professional and everything. There won't be all this mess, <laughs> you know, again, even though it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hop in here in my van real quick and then actually drive across the Lake Moobaw Dam. <laughs> so that's gonna be a lot of fun. But look at this, this was my view. <laughs> This was the little place here. I'm still the only person here. I've had this entire place to myself. <laughs> down here to Coles Point Boat Ramp. I'm currently just walking up down this uh, concrete little sidewalk down here to the boat dock <laughs> or the fishing pier, whatever it is. <laughs> fishing dock. And check out this thing. <laughs> it's super awesome. It's just a simple little, uh, I don't know, dock you can just chill on and fish or whatever. Check out how windy it is. Apparently this is Lake Moomaw, but it doesn't even seem like a lake because there's rapids and a tide and stuff. It's an artificial tide. Look at this. <laughs> this is insane. Look how windy it is. Look at all the street branches just flopping around. What the heck is the thing up there? Is that a log or some kind of metal container? It has a bunch of white stuff on it. I don't know what the heck it is. <laughs> there's a bunch of buoys in the water. It looks like there's a boat somewhere out there in the distance. I think I saw it out there somewhere. Yeah, look at it right there. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I think there's some kind of recreation area on the other side of the lake over there. Or it might be down there. I think it's down there because it loops around that way. But yeah, if you enjoyed all that footage, please give this video a big thumbs up to let me know. <laughs> Having a super great day today. <laughs> you know, I'm trying my best to take my mind off that little freaking activism and stuff. You know, because again, like I said in the beginning of the video, there's really nothing much I can freaking do. You know, I think people are done talking about it. No one wants to hear it anymore. People just want action, right? Clearly, action speaks a lot more than words. <laughs> people just want the stuff to be over. You know, people want the American Air Force Ross to happen. And people want this stupid freaking tyranny and all the freaking uh, bullcrap and death jab to be incinerated. Right? <laughs> you know, we are all battle weary. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. But check this out down here. There's some kind of orange ball. Uh, maybe it's not a ball, maybe it's a buoy. 
I don't know what that is. <laughs> Look how cool it is though. Looks like the lake is like a super like greenish, bluish tint. Not too sure what's in there. But yeah, just chill like always. This place is super nice. Bunch of little moss here on the side. And some boulders up there where I came in. I actually went downhill. <laughs> There's also a beach over here that you're about to see in the following footage. <laughs> Dude, this is so much fun. <laughs> and yes, like you've been watching, I've been reusing the background music from my West Virginia cycle ride <laughs> back on my journey to van life, you know, from July of 2020. <laughs> that was pretty insane. <laughs> Obviously, I went a different way through West Virginia. Uh, I went straight through, actually. <laughs> straight through the middle of it. Which is like best from here. But yeah, this place is actually in the state of Virginia, not West Virginia. And yeah, I highly recommend coming here if you're ever in the area or whatever. It's a super great place. And check this out. There's my van just peeking over there through the trees. <laughs> editing together this video of this super awesome place way out here in the middle of nowhere in Virginia it was a lot of fun and I'm not sure if you saw it earlier but I put my little uh windshield little sun cover thing strap right there in the bungee strap next to my trash can because it was up there in the uh dash but it was uh covering up my vents <laughs> so it's kind of a weird place to put it <laughs> That person came out of nowhere. I guess someone else just drove in here. I guess they're gonna go out there and chill at the lake. That was kind of creepy. <laughs> Weird. But yeah, here's my view. <laughs> Pretty insane, isn't it, dude? Like, I feel so relaxed and so free. Look at that. <laughs> That's just crazy, man. Anyway, it's almost three o'clock right now. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and finish editing this video and then hop out, I don't know, and just relax, maybe walk down the boat dock and just chill <laughs> for the rest of the day. And uh, later on tonight, I'll find a place to park. And then tomorrow's video is going to be a lot of fun too.
just hopped back here in my van, and as you can see, it's currently 5.30. Here's what the back of my van looks like. Everything stays pretty much secure in here, and check out this view. Boom. <laughs> There's two trees right here. Here's this little uh, grassy, rocky little parking area. I'm up here kind of on the rocks in a cool little spot. It's actually pretty perfect. And check this out. Look at that. This is the Sounding Knob Fire Tower in the town of Monterey, Virginia. I just grabbed gas down there at the Exxon. Gas is $4.29 a gallon, and if it was $2 cheaper, I would have saved at least 50 bucks. Yeah, I paid $106 for gas. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> But anyway, enough about that bullcrap of life. <laughs> uh, if you enjoyed all that scenery of me passing through the all those farms and the fields and the golf course back there in the towns of Hot Springs and Warm Springs, uh, Virginia, please comment below or whatever. I really enjoyed it. It was freaking amazing. But yeah, uh, just like yesterday's video, I decided to drive down the road a little ways to wrap up my video here instead of back there at the lake. So just gonna hop out real quick, climb up there and see what's at the top. <laughs> And most likely, I'm just going to wrap up my video up there so you can actually see what's going on. And I don't feel like putting on my GoPro to climb up there. I already did that at the Chuck Swan Fire Tower <laughs> from uh, the road trip last month, you know, when I went out there to Chuck Swan State Forest in Tennessee, uh, just down the road from Cumberland Gap, which is the tri-state area. <laughs> so I'm not too sure how many... Uh, of you people who are watching this, uh, that watched my fail video. I think it has like 27 views now, you know, where I went uh, bridge jumping off the Norris Lake Bridge, but yeah, it was a fail. <laughs> I didn't jump off it because it was way too freaking cold. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. There's just a couple little random things, you know, that I've done in the past couple months of my van life adventure and some stuff in my past. <laughs> so, yeah, Lake Moobaw was definitely a lot of fun and I highly recommend going. So, let's get out and climb up this thing now. Dude, it's like super cold and super windy up here. This is insane. But check out this freaking fire tower. Look, I'm curling underneath the steps. <laughs> this is a madness. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. I just know that I'm loving it out here. <laughs> I also put on my backpack. I got a salad and a sweet tea and some stuff. Uh, you know, just to snack on or whatever. While I enjoy the view up the top. <laughs> But check this out, boom, there's the sunset. <laughs> Look how nice this is. There's also a little plaque here. And fruit snacks were pretty good. I already put it back in my backpack and just been chilling up here on top of the fire tower. Luckily, there's glass all around, so the wind is not blowing on me right now, and it's not as cold and stuff like that. But check this out. I made it all the way up here to sounding now fire tower. Oh my goodness. There's the town of Monterey, Virginia. Look how insane that is. If you enjoyed all that scenery of inside here, please uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought about it and, you know, like the video or whatever. <laughs> I know I keep on saying that, but yeah. <laughs> Check this out. Here's this plaque here. It says Tower Reconstruction Crew 2017. There's the list of names. Here's this board right here. I don't know what it's used for. There's railing here, which is good. There's also binoculars that you can use to look out on stuff. And check this out. Here's the ridge line. There's some mountains over there. Here's some over here on this side. There's a little field clearing thing there. And then one way up there at the top, <laughs> which is crazy looking. And then it goes way down there. As you can see, there are some houses and stuff. There is a cabin down there that I passed on the drive up. Look at all the clouds, blue sky and everything else. Check this out, boom. Look at all those trees that are down. <laughs> That's insane looking. Looks like there's kind of like, I don't know, a little condensation or something on the windows. And yeah, there's really not much to this place. <laughs> they do have a little Instagram, little social media thing down there on the plaque where you can follow them if you're interested. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is cool. In like, like pretty much every other place, there's a, a ton of people that have tagged their names in the wood. <laughs> this is super awesome, dude. Oh yeah, if you've been noticing, hear that? <laughs> That's the wind gust. So, I guess I'll just go ahead and wrap things up right here. All on top of the tower at 6 o'clock. 
in the evening. There's the sunset. <laughs> Look how amazing that is. And I think that's pretty much it. So, like always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next adventure.